We're talking to the Young family, and Harry Young in 1962, right up here, is where no-till got started in Herndon, Kentucky, on seven-tenths of an acre. This area right here is a little triangle of an area. That's where the first plot was planted in 1962. John is Harry's son, Alex is his grandson, and Jared would be his great-grandson. So we got three generations here. This uh, planter is a 1790 John Deere no-till planter. It's made so that it can plant 30-inch row corn, and then there's a splitter row behind each one of those, or in between the rows, so that it can plant 15-inch row soybeans. It's a popular model throughout the Midwest, and it might be interesting to see some of the features that are on here, some of which are vastly different than what were available when my dad first no-tilled. The, the front of each unit, as you can see, has a, has a spiked row cleaner. Uh, we have always used Martin Row Cleaners from Elkton, Kentucky, and that's a good company. They turn out a good product. And you notice that at the edge of each row cleaner that there is an aluminum band, which is called a depth band. It keeps the cleaner teeth from going too deeply in the ground and still allows the brush or the, the fodder from the previous year's crop to be scattered to the side. And then behind that is, I guess you could say, the business of it, and that is a disc opener, a double disc opener, uh, which goes into the soil at just the right depth, and that depth is controlled by a gauge wheel. And this large rubber wheel to the side is a gauge wheel, one on each side of the row, and that allows the corn seed to be dropped through a tube from this small box through the tube at just the right depth. And then underneath that is a Keaton seed firmer, and that allows the seed to be held in the bottom of the trench so that it does not bounce out of the trench or come in at a, at a bad place. You need good so seed to soil contact. Behind that seed firmer then, you have to close the trench, and that's done by another Martin product, a Martin uh, closing wheel, the one with spikes. We actually run one spiked wheel and one rubber wheel, and that gives us more flexibility on whether the soil is wet or dry. We can continue to run with the same product. So that's basically what a modern no-till unit looks like. Now that's a lot different than it was when my dad first started no tillage. There were no disc openers on his original planter. There were no row cleaners. There were no row closers. And the depth was controlled very uh, roughly. But uh, his was an experimental, a prototype. Many of these improvements, believe it or not, all originated in Western Kentucky. No tillage, obviously, originated in Western Kentucky. The first commercial farmer to use that was my dad. But just think of some of the other things that were here as well. I mentioned the Martin Row Cleaner, which is from Elkton, Kentucky. The, uh, the seed farmer uh, is called the Keaton Seed Farmer because Mr. Eugene Keaton, also from Todd County in Western Kentucky, was the one who invented that. Not only did he invent that, but Eugene Keaton um, also was the inventor of the finger pickup model for one of the earlier no-till planters that John Deere made. Remarkable fella, remarkable fella. But as far as Western Kentucky goes, all three of those things came from this area in a Christian County, Tide County area. We're real proud of that. <laughs>